Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May peace be upon all of us. I have been attending this meeting for the last three days and listened to statements from many head of delegates. I would like to thank to all sympathy offered by head of delegates, friends, brothers, sisters, to the casualties of disasters in Indonesia. Last Monday, we experienced the airplane crash crashed, and prior to that, we experienced earthquakes, tsunami, and land liquefaction in Sulawesi. Although the affected area is considered a quite developed area in terms of ICT infrastructure, we have 4G services in those area. But the earthquake, tsunami, and liquefaction swept the cellular and internet access in the affected area. Our rescuer, Police officers, hospital, doctors, volunteer, Red Cross, military badly needed communication access in performing their tasks. Luckily, we are able to restore the service in short and a timely manner. Then we are able to save tens of thousands of people live. Imagine if the disaster occurred in the populated area that are not covered by cellular nor internet services. I believe there will be more casualties. This is actually our fundamental issues. Will some of us in this conference share their plan in entering 5G technology, but almost half of the global populations remain unserved by connectivity nor internet. For this, I put a high hope on ITU led by the newly re-elected Secretary General, Brother Hulin Chow, Deputy Secretary General Malcolm Johnson and directors will play a role not only as regulator that accommodate upcoming technology, but how can ITU facilitate, I would like to repeat and underline, to facilitate the people in unserved area to get service as soon as possible. Affirmative policy should be taken by ITU to facilitate them. To our humble experience, the objective to connect Indonesia archipelago with 17,000 islands could not be achieved unless the government of Indonesia introduced the affirmative policy. With the aggressive target to connect the whole more than 500 regions and major cities by broadband backbone and must be completed in the mid of 2019. To build ICT infrastructure in non-commercial, non-financially feasible area is the responsibility of the government. Hence, the responsibility to connect almost half of global populations is at least indirectly becoming our responsibility which reflected as an ITU. The role of ITU has to be shifted aggressively from the role regulatory heavy to the role as facilitator such as becoming a matchmaker, of course, in positive way, between developing countries and global creative financial instrument such as blended financing with partly backed up by philanthropists to the conventional one provided by institutions like World Bank in line with the SDG program. Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, by this I would like to conclude my statement by again to congratulate the elected Secretary General, Deputy Secretary General and Directors. Last but not least, I kindly, humbly request your support to vote Indonesia candidacy as a council member of Region E. Together, we can. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.